Standards such as BS176 split springs into two distinct groups. Group A springs are formed from material that has not undergone heat treatment, whereas Group B springs are formed from material that has undergone heat treatment. Heat treatment is sometimes required to relieve stresses absorbed by the metal during the forming process. It may be useful when a spring is expected to function close to its operating limits. Springs are also split into force tolerance grades. Grade 1 springs are formed to a tight tolerance specification, whereas Grade 2 springs make for a slightly wider tolerance. Some standards like EN 15800 allow for free grades, so it is important to look at the specific standard concerning the type of spring being specified for specific force tolerance charts. Tolerances are limited based on permissible deflection. The maximum or shortest working length a spring can be compressed to is 80% deflection, 100% deflection being the solid length. Tolerances are not applicable beyond 80% deflection as a spring should not be compressed beyond this point during its working life. Permissible stress is specific to the spring material choice. Within the deflection range, the stress may be permissible up to 70% of ultimate tensile stress for some carbon alloys, whereas some stainless steels allow up to 60%. The grade 1 force at length tolerance calculation for group A springs is as shown. To find the force tolerance, we must know the required spring rate, deflection from free length, index and free length. We should also know the operating length and force transmitted at length. Based on the input data shown, an operating length of 70.9 mm transmitting a force of 31.77 newtons, the grade 1 force tolerance at this operating length is plus or minus 1.53 newtons. The grade 2 tolerance is derived from the grade 1 calculation. Simply multiply the grade 1 tolerance by 1.5 to find the grade 2 tolerance. For group B springs, the grade 1 tolerance calculation is similar to that of group A springs. A 1.2 multiplication factor is added to make allowance for the heat treatment. If we factor in the variables used in the previous calculation, we can see the differing tolerance output. In this instance, we see the tolerance increasing from 1.53 to 1.83 newtons for switching groups to this grade 1 group B spring. The 1.5 multiplication factor is again applicable to group B grade 2 springs. In this case the tolerance increases to plus or minus 2.745 newtons. The free length is also subject to tolerance. Group type is applicable to free length tolerancing, however grades 1 and 2 are not. The calculation is dependent on knowing the free length and spring index. For this example, an index of 6.6 .6 and length of 175mm gives a length tolerance of 2.923mm. And for group B heat treated springs, a 1.2 multiplication factor is added to the equation. This gives a free length tolerance of 3.51 mm. The solid length is a product of the number of coils, wire thickness, diameter and diameter tolerance. It is also governed by the end type. For ground springs, the calculation is the total coils plus 2 times the wire thickness at the tip times max wire diameter. As the ends are ground, the tips will have a flat section. For this example, the wire thickness at tip is 50% ground, so we will have lost half the wire OD at each end. So for this example, the solid length works out at 60.8 millimeters exactly. There is no tolerance for this length, 
This is simply the maximum 100% compression reference for basing the shortest working length at 80% compression. The calculation changes for unground springs. In this instance, the wire diameter is not flattened at the tip. So the equation is the number of active coils plus one times max wire diameter. The effect of changing from ground to unground means that the solid length becomes 60.993 millimeters, whereas previously it was 60.8 millimeters.